What's up, YouTube? Lynch Life here. And today, we're going to give you the full-on review of the brand new 2011 21.5-inch iMac. A simple stress test and open up every application that I currently own in my computer. And here we go. Open. See how fast this loads. And after this, to really stress the performance, we're going to go to YouTube. We're going to go to an HD video and we're gonna see how well that HD video plays right after every single application is opened up in my desktop. Now that is what you call pure power. Now let's go to the YouTube video. Let's go to YouTube. See what that goes down. Go right to Safari. Boom. YouTube. And we're going to play an HD video and see how that goes. All the way up to 1080p. We're going to do 1080p. Boom. 1080p. And as you can see, the, the red is still going. No stutter. It's not staying still. And, and, and mind you, ladies and gentlemen, this is the baseline model. The baseline model. You don't have to actually spend an extra, extra, extra just to get the power that you can already get. Apple makes the software and the hardware. For, I'm pretty sure most of you guys already know this. And for those who don't, look it up, please. All right? This is not a PC. This is a Mac. Okay? The software is integrated into the hardware. It works together. So it doesn't matter if you get a baseline model. You see that? All of my applications are open. Now you're talking about multitasking. That is true. Multitasking. Every last one of my applications in my computer is open. This is a 1080p YouTube video. Everybody knows you're going to get a little bit of stutter if you have multiple applications running and you're watching YouTube videos. Standard baseline model. This right here. For the professional users and the guys who want that performance but don't want to spend that much, I'm telling you, the, 20, the new 2011 21.5 inch iMac is definitely, definitely something I would recommend. For $1,200, you're getting pure power. And I'm talking about power to the point where this standard model, and all of them is quad core all across the board. This standard model right here beats the last year's 2011 standard 27 inch. Yes, it does. It beats it. Last year's graphics card was 256 megabytes. This one right here is 512, but I'm not a big gamer like that. I have a PS3. I'm not going to be on my computer playing games, but that handles enough graphic power to handle HD video, the, the, the light gaming that I do, graphic design. It handles it. Every last one of those applications are open. I'm pretty sure you see that. Okay? That's for the performance. Now, we're going to get into some gaming. Now, the gaming quality on this runs really, really smooth. It's... To me, it's like the almost to the uh, almost almost up to the PlayStation Three graphics. Now, it's not gonna ever get up to the PlayStation Three graphics, but it's it, 
It's there. It's all. It's it's it's, it's right on that borderline. I'm telling you. Here we go. Super crisp, 1080p. I got all the, the all the resolutions maxed out. Look at that. Not a lag. Not a stutter. Let's see if I can get. See if I can get a couple of heads. Mind you, I'm not a computer gamer. Oh, there we go. Oh, who's that? Oh, there you go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Gotta move to the side real quick. Back at him. Boom. Boom. Back at him. Boom. Right there. Let's go. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Smooth as butter. Right there. Well, what do you guys think? You think it's up to the PS3? You think the graphics is up there right next to the PS3? Huh? You think it's a little better than the PS3? Put a little comment link in below. Let me know what you think. Because looking at it now, I, I think I think it's almost there. I give it another two years, probably another two years. With the with the processors coming out, with that ooh, got me right there. Processors coming out, SSD drives coming out. I'm pretty sure computer is gonna be up to the to the PS3. Oh, there we go, right there. Okay. So I made my mind up. The gaming is the gaming is decent. It's some decent game. Decent graphics. Gameplay is smooth. No lag whatsoever. Alright. There we go. So the 2011 refresh represents a substantial leap forward for the new iMac. Powerful new processes, outstanding graphics solutions, and an innovative new Thunderbolt port makes the new machines one of the most powerful all-in-ones today. My name is Lynch Life. Please subscribe.